The flame monster begins back side up, paper diagonally, with the head at the top. Fold in half vert vertically, match up the corners, and crease through the center. Unfold. Fold in half, top to bottom, and just pinch fold to mark the center. Unfold, fold the top corner down to the pinch. Make another pinch, and then once again fold the top corner down to that pinch and crease. Unfold. and fold parallel to the top edge from the inner along the intersection unfold and fold the other top edge down from that same point crease fold the other edge down. The remaining flap forms a triangle, which we're going to fold to one side, then crease in the other direction, open it up and press the top corner down to the bottom corners to form a square. Fold one flap over and open it up carefully. Squish fold it down. Fold two flaps in the other direction. And the second flap. Open it up. And squish fold it down. We call this sequence a frog fold. Now swivel fold upwards and fold the bottom portions in half. This is tricky because it's small, but it should form another point that we're going to fold back down. Repeat on the other side. Carefully move the paper up, swivel fold on both sides, and fold back down to complete the frog fold. Fold one flap over. So both sides are the same. We're going to fold the top edge down to the bottom. Crease. Unfold. Repeat on the other side. Unfold, and fold the top edge down to the bottom edge, putting a mountain fold through the horizontal center. Unfold, and push in the edges, and squish fold to form a square. At the bottom open edge, 
I'm going to fold up diagonally to the center line. Repeat on the other side. Open up. Carefully reverse these folds that you just made. Make sure that the new layers fall underneath the head that we just folded. Firm up the creases and petal fold the other side as well. push open and flatten everything. Be sure not to interfere with the head. Turn over. Fold the bottom corner in and the other bottom edge along the center line. Unfold. And reverse these folds as well. Now we've completed an offset bird base. I'm going to turn to the side and without folding the flaps off the wings, close the head and the tail, fold the wing up, turn over, fold the other wing up, fold the bottom edge to the center line, and fold it down from the back corner so that it lines up with the bottom edge. Repeat on the other side. We've just made two of the dragon's wood legs. Turn over, fold in and down. Repeat on the other side. There's a lot of layers here, so make sure to crease everything firmly. Fold the wing down. Turn over. Fold the other wing down. And we're going to diagonally fold the top of the tail so that it lines up the top of the wing. Do the same thing for the head and neck. Unfold both head and tail and inside reverse this fold. Carefully repeat this on the head. We're going to untuck the eyes and the edges of the face. Pull forward the jaw 
and inside reverse to form it. Open up the neck and fold the outside edges to the center to thin the neck. And again on the other side. Close the neck back up. Straighten out the head. And fold everything firmly. We're going to do the same thing with the tail. We could also thin the tail by folding it to the outside whichever way you prefer. Straighten up the tail. Level up the wings so they're facing slightly upward. Straighten out the head and the flame monster ready to fly.